we've been looking at Greece for several years, um, Mr. Calamos and myself and some others, and looking for opportunities. When the tender for Ethnic E came around, our insurance partners wanted to take a deeper look. We got into the uh, uh, tender process. I think there was 18 different bids, and there were several uh, rounds, and as we ended up winning the uh, tender, and uh, I think we'll take possession hopefully in late December. Why Greece? Why now? We think the opportunity is really strong right now. I think uh, it's Greece's economy has hit bottom, and we feel that uh, both with the regulators and the EU will start to hopefully an IMF ease up on Greece, and we're starting to see a little bit of progress of the economy turning around. And we also think there'll be some relief in taxes and whatnot. The austerity measures has put a lot of pressure on them. They're going to start to come out, and I think that this was an opportunity to buy a company, the largest insurance company in Greece, that has uh, actually very profitable, uh, as it is right now, in probably the worst economy in history of Greece. So to the extent that we come in, we could hopefully manage it as well, if not better. There's no question that... Um, I looked at it for a business sense, and it made sense for us uh, in terms of uh, dollars and cents. But I can't say that it, it, I wasn't very proud to try in some way to help the country, because I think that um, indirectly we did. Um, I think that if some other people may have bought it, uh, it may not have turned out as well for the country. We're looking to grow the business. Uh, we're not looking to take the money and, and uh, take it out of the country or whatnot. We're looking to grow and help the country. Uh, that way, that'll help us as well, uh, in all fairness. But um, I do have a sense of pride. I do have a sense of being Greek. And I do feel that um, this was a good step for Greece. Uh, uh, actually, a very big step. And for years, Greek Americans have looked at different um, big acquisitions and, and uh, nothing's really significant has arrived from that. So I'm proud to say that uh, our group uh, was the first one um, to do a, uh, such a major thing. Actually, might have been one of the most major investments in Greece, not just from Greek Americans, but from anybody um, in the country. This is something that actually, I think, directly helps uh, in terms of creating jobs and whatnot, which we plan to do. What are the changes that you will bring to the company? If and how are you planning to improve it? Well, I think like most companies um, and the industry in general, uh, insurance is somewhat antiquated. So there's a big fintech and IT portion of that, that uh, not just for ethnic key, but for most insurance companies need to catch up to the technology that's already existing. We feel that the management is pretty strong at the company, uh, but I think that uh, most uh, situations like this, it's good to have people that are already there existing and also inject some new blood as well to complement them and bring new ideas. It wasn't a walk in the park. It was uh, a difficult process. Having said that, we found that, that uh, the Prime Minister at the end of the day was uh, helpful. Uh, he assured us that there would be transparency in the, in the auction and uh, at the end we found that that, that was correct. Uh, we had a lot of people that were helping us uh, in terms of from the U.S. as well. Ambassador Pyatt was uh, a friend and an advocate. Uh, the Secretary of Commerce, Wilbur Ross, was also a friend and advocate. So we had the, everywhere from the White House to the local ambassador in Greece to even the Greek church uh, got involved and was an advocate of ours. Um, as well as um, actually both political major parties in Greece at the end of the day was one thing that I think that they agreed on uh, was that we would be helpful uh, in helping bring more money and building a bridge to the United States for more uh, uh, potential deal flow and money coming in for acquisitions in Greece. And I think that uh, that's something that we will start seeing as we take over ethnic key. What are some issues that Greece probably still needs to be worried about? And Look, I don't um, necessarily think we're completely done with the crisis. I do think that we are making progress. Uh, I had a few minutes and I spoke with Christine Lagarde, 
early this morning at the Concordia Summit, and uh, she is contemplating uh, possibly going to Greece to uh, speak. Uh, we're not sure, or she hasn't confirmed it yet, but uh, I think that we have to tell our story and keep pushing. And uh, the austerity measures need to be lifted, and it needs some relief. And I think if uh, uh, the uh, Prime Minister keeps pushing, uh, that he might get some relief from uh, uh, from the, 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 the European Union and uh, IMF. So um, I don't agree that it's completely over, but I think the worst is behind us, and that's why we put our money where our mouth was, and invested in, in, in a very large way in Greece. I'm optimistic that uh, uh, things will prevail for Greece at, at some point here. I don't think it'll be hockey stick improvement, but I think slowly and gradually we are on the right course. We are looking at other possibly acquisitions in Greece, but we have uh, also had extensive uh, discussions with uh, opportunities in Israel, in Holland, UK, in Spain. So it's not just uh, a Greek-centered fund, but it's more of a European uh, type of fund at this point.